Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, how much good depending on your location. Please join in this struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos. Today is Tuesday, the 12th day of November 2024. I bring you this update. You must separate from Nigeria for you to survive. Show not as Ndimo. Oh yes, that's what's happening now that a Nigerian politician who is also an activist talking about uh, Omoyele Shore, has stated in clear terms that there exists a confidential memorandum within the government cycle advising caution regarding Ndibo. Now, the 2023 presidential candidate of the African Action Congress, yes, AAC, said the memo warns against an Igbo presidency. She will asserted that the Igbo ethnic group cannot prosper under the present structure of the country, emphasizing that Nigeria must undergo a division for their survival. That's for the survival of Ndebo. Oh, yes. Look at his statement quotes. Nigeria has an Igbo problem. There is a secret memo in the government to be careful of Igbos. The memo is against giving the Igbos political positions and opportunities. For an Igbo man to survive in Nigeria, as it is currently put together, Nigeria must break. End of quote. Now, this is the statement of Omoyele Shogore to about the Igbo question in Nigeria. Oh, yes. Say, so look, so there is a gang up against Ndebo. A gang up against Ndebo. It's not the first time we are hearing this, and it is true. Ndebo have come to realize that it is true. So, it's among the reason, or the major reason. Mazdan Kano started this uh, renewed agitation for Biafra restoration. So yes, yes, it is true. A gang up against Ndebo. But now, what is new is that uh, Omo Yelesho Wore, a Yoruba man, yes, is speaking up, saying it. That's the only thing different or new in this. Otherwise, Ndebo have come to realize it. Yes, that's why Mazdan Kano is fighting for freedom, for liberation of Ndebo. A gang up in the government circle against a particular tribe. In Nigeria, you have about more than more than 200 tribes, they say, and you have three major ethnic groups, three major ethnic groups, and in these 200 and something tribes, you single out a particular group or particular a particular ethnic group, and you said they are your problem. You have your conspiracy against them. You gang up against them? Yes. And so, Shore is saying it now. Say, that's why they're not prospering. Of course, say, Nigeria has an evil problem. So, they have an evil problem. They're not prospering, of course, because the evil problem. Yes. Now, he said, Ndibo, you must realize that your destiny lies in your own hands. Don't leave it for Nigeria. They will destroy your destiny. They will kill your destiny. You must put your destiny in your own hands. Yes. That's why he's saying, yes, directing it to the political Ediabanes. The political Ediabanes. Ndibo, generally. The masses, the people, they are aware. They know. The good people of the Southeast, the Eastern region, the Biafra, they are aware. They know the gang up. They know the conspiracy theory, yes, against them. So, and they have decided their fate. That's why they're asking for freedom. Yes, freedom, freedom. But you see, the political left, left the Eddie Abanez, political Eddie Abanez, those who are fishing in troubled waters, they know all this. They know it too, but they feign ignorance. Yes. Because they are benefiting from this uh, tragedy, from this tragedy, from this contraption, from this mere geographical entity. They are benefiting from it. And so, they find ignorance of the fact that they have been marginalized, they have been excluded, that the people, are the, the elites, the Nigerian elites, you know, they have gang up against them. Yes, against their own people. So they are the betrayers, they are the saboteurs. They betray their people because of 
you know, materialistic things. Materialism, a pot of porridge. So that is what is happening. So what a record, the sentiment that Ndebo have to take their destinies into their own hands. Simple for them to prosper under the sun. You see, Ndebo will say, oh, some people will say, the boys are prospering. Yes, we have seen some northerners saying, oh, the boys are the major beneficiaries of the contraption of Nigeria. They are enjoying it more. Yes, they have been integrated. Say they have been compensated. So if not that, the Igbo will not go to the north, to Kaduna, Kano, and have uh, you know major stake in business and investment. How much more in Abuja and Lagos? Yes, say the Igbo. If you go to uh, you know Lagos, Abuja, Kano, Kaduna, and other parts of the north and southwest, say the Igbos have majority of the investment outside those people who are the owners of this place. The indigenous of this place. So outside the indigenous, so the next in line of the investors, the Ajibos. In all these places in the southwest states and the entire 19 northern states. So the Ibos have more investments more than any other ethnic group apart from the indigenous. I say because of that, said so the Ibos are benefiting more. So they have been compensated. So that is not even prosperity. To the level of prosperity, Ndibo will have if they have taken their destiny to their own hands, if they have their freedom, if their Biafra is being restored today, the Igbo will make progress and advancement in every field of human endeavor. Yes, more than what is being seen today. The Nigerian system that is setting the Igbo's backwards. Yes. So, not considering that the Igbo's have been compensated, yes, but the fact is that the Igbos, the level of progress they are making in this contraption is nothing to compare with the infrastructure, you know, the, the advancement, technological advancements, scientific advancements, and even in business, trade and investment, the breakthroughs they will have if they have their own independence to operate. That is the point. So, the political FLA for the other body, let them come and hear this from Omoyole Showore. Political idea bodies, they will go to Abuja, they will call it favor, they will loot money man, for the people, they go back to South East. Oh, they start deceiving the gullible with one Nigeria. You've seen it. Yes, you go better, you go better, Nigeria go better. We are working with the president. Nothing to show for it. So, show what I have recorded it again. Ndibo, take your destiny into your own hands. This issue of Biafra is not something that any person who is a Ndibo man is supposed to try with. There lies your destiny. There lies the destiny of your children, of the unborn generation. That's the point. Oh yes, so the gang up is in vain. It's not doing anything to Ndebo. The point is that the Ibos have taken their death into their own hands and they are calling for their freedom. They are agitating for their freedom. The political idea about this, the political they are the distractors. They are the distractors. But they will not do anything. Yes, Ndebo will continue to march towards uh, their freedom. And that's the point. Yes.